Hey everyone, it's me, Yana. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Yana. I make lifestyle videos, post-grad content, grad school content. I am a MSW student in my final year and I'm also a therapist intern. I work part-time. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys. Just have like a really honest and just open chat on the realities of grad school so just sit down grab yourself a coffee i made myself a little iced coffee and i used the grinch gingerbread cookie dough creamer because like christmas is coming soon like i know it's november but i don't care anyways grab your coffee and let's just sit down and have a have a chat so far this year and as you guys probably have heard me talk to you in all of my videos but this semester of grad school is kicking my butt yes i knew it was gonna be busy and i thought last year was really chaotic but your girl had no idea how it is <laughs> i'm basically taking three classes a week and well one class meets every other week um so i have classes and then i work 15 hours of a week and then my internship is 24 hours a week and then you add classes and homework and all of that stuff on top of it and i got really like down on myself because like towards the end of summer i established a really good routine like with being active and taking care of myself and i've tried my best to keep it up but it just has been so hard i am so drained every week it's just so overwhelming and i hate not having downtime like i love my time my downtime where i can just chill watch youtube videos or work out or just read or like i don't know do something and it's been so hard to find the time to implement that so i've just been really feeling overwhelmed and struggling and this semester is no joke it's been kicking my butt it's my first semester like having like being a therapist and having my own clients and i have a caseload of almost 20 clients which is insane for an intern and it's just it's a lot but it's like there's such a huge need right now for mental health services and i'm learning so much and i love all the experience i'm getting but it's just a lot so yeah it's been really hard i've been trying to stay on top of my mental health and i have my good days and i have my bad days and if you are in grad school in some capacity or even a college student i'm sure you can totally relate how difficult life is juggling a hundred different things some of the things that i have been doing that has really helped me maintain my mental health and also just give some sense of like a work-life balance as well as like dealing with stress is carving out time throughout the week to be active in some way and i'm not always perfect like i for like two or three weeks i was like doing a workout like four times a week or three times a week and now i'm honestly down to one to two times a week and i try not to beat myself about it up about it because i am just so wiped and exhausted and i try to incorporate movement like throughout my day for example like maybe parking a little bit farther so i can walk more or just getting up from my desk and stretching or just you know during a break just like walking around the building or something like that just doing like little active things like really helps also one thing that has helped me so much to keep me grounded and sane is setting aside one day of the week where i do absolutely nothing for me that day is saturday and depending on your schedule it can be really impossible to do this but i highly 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 recommend you could even set aside half the day and just be like okay from this time to this time i'm not doing anything at all so for me saturdays i literally do nothing 
like I'm like oh I could be getting ahead on this assignment I could be doing my homework I could be doing all these chores I could be doing on Saturdays I don't put any pressure on myself to do anything like if I have energy that day I will go work out I will go grocery shop I will do laundry if I have the energy if I don't I just let myself just lay in bed you know go get coffee maybe go for a walk or not maybe just like yesterday i was so drained i literally did not leave my bed except to get food go to the bathroom i just was feeling not great so i just listened to myself and my body and took care of myself and then sundays are my days where i do my most of my homework and the laundry and getting groceries and food and all of that set for the week ahead so but having a day of the week where i know i'm like saturday is so close i have the time to just rest and recharge and do nothing i love it even sometimes i'll do something social on saturdays if i'm up to it or not or i'll just sometimes i do have productive saturdays but most of the time i just set it aside to have no plans and just do whatever i want and this has helped me so much like if i didn't have this anchor of my day i don't know what i would do as i've been going through this year and feeling so overwhelmed and stressed out anxious all of that jazz the one thing that or another thing that has really helped is using some sort of like mindfulness meditation or mental health check-in what i absolutely love has been using this app called mind ease and i just want to quickly thank mind ease for sponsoring this video i am so excited to be working with them because this is like so right up my alley especially as a grad student and a future therapist and well i am doing therapy right now with clients but just someone who is such an advocate for mental health and for mindfulness and for just doing things that can help relieve stress and anxiety and taking a moment to be present is so important to me which is why i love this app mind ease is an evidence-based anxiety relief app that has a bunch of exercises that were all written by clinicians i love opening the app because it is just so relaxing and there's like a button that says calm me and it'll ask you a couple of questions like what you need like to focus on whether it's health anxiety stress overthinking low self-esteem whatever it is and it'll pick out an exercise for you tailored to your needs there there's also a blog or you can look at all these activities that they have it gives you a quote of the day you can also track your progress like track your mood as you're doing the exercises which is really awesome like it gives you guided breathing you can change the sound in the background it's just such a calming app and i really love having that because we always are on our phones so it can be hard to have that mental health check-in but having it on an, on an app and it'll give you like the exact exercises and walk you through the things that you need to do to kind of help relieve that stress and anxiety. They do have a free version of the app and you can get a subscription which unlocks even more activities which is really great. I've been using MindEase pretty consistently for a while and it's been so nice to have that mental health check-in where I can just be still for a few minutes and really focus on the activities or even just doing the guided breathing it really really helps me personally and i know that sometimes doing exercises or things aren't for everybody but i definitely recommend giving it a shot and it just hold i feel like it holds me accountable because when you're a busy grad student have so many different things going on and go 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 like i literally go from class to my internship to work all the way home and it's like one thing after another and it doesn't seem like there's any time to check in and then if i don't check in i find i get so stressed and it builds and builds and builds and it's not good but having a couple minutes like either on a lunch break or five minutes before class i can just 
go on this app and do one of the exercises or the guided breathing and it just really helps to recenter myself and just calm me down so if you are a grad student or college student or just in a really busy season of life i hear you i see you it's a lot and it can be really really difficult but just know that you are not alone we will get through this together and make sure to prioritize your own mental health i know as social workers or therapists or in in any job that takes care of people we often put others needs ahead of our own and it can be really easy to just do that and kind of neglect our own mental health or to think that oh you're a therapist you're a social worker you're a grad student like you should have it all together but the reality is is we're human we're not gonna have it all together there's gonna be hard mental health days but it is helpful to know that we are not alone and if you take some intentional time and it doesn't have to be like hours or even half an hour it can literally be five to ten minutes just for yourself to take some deep breaths to go on a walk to use an exercise for mind ease to do some stretching or just something that makes you feel good it can be like watching 15 minutes of a show on netflix or i really love listening to podcasts like on my commute um, cause I have like an hour commute so it's really nice to like put on a podcast that I've been really excited to listen to or new music like I know when the Taylor Swift new album Midnight's released I was really excited to listen to that or like going and making a Christmas coffee or getting like a fun Starbucks drink like or knowing I'm gonna ooh I'm like gonna get a yummy salad or get something delicious for lunch or dinner like anything like that those little things add up and really do make an impact on your mental health so i just want you guys to know that you're not alone it's hard maintaining a work-life balance it, it is really hard and just know that like you are important and your mental health comes first and it's okay to take some time for yourself and to just take care of yourself. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful or encouraging to hear for some of you and just to know that you're not alone. I know for me it's always helpful when someone else is kind of going through the same thing and they're telling their story. So I figured I would share mine. Like grad school is really hard and there are times where I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this semester or the rest of this year or yeah, I don't know how I'm going to make it to graduation, but it's okay. We got this little by little, day by day, minute by minute sometimes even. But we'll all get through this together and it's going to be okay. It's okay to take breaks when you need to. Very important. Huge advocate for breaks. So, yeah. But I also wanted to update you guys kind of on how I'm doing because I know... I don't post as regularly as I usually do on YouTube and it sucks because of how crazy everything's been but I still see each and every one of your comments and I just really appreciate you all and I'm excited for a holiday content. Thank you all for your love and support and for watching this video and also just Thank you to Mind Ease for working with me on today's video and I'll have a link to download the app down below and just more information on Mind Ease in case if you want to check it out. So yes, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye guys.